to talk Melbourne. We bring in Ben Iscari. Uh, ben, good morning to you. Terrific day of racing. What about Melody Bell? How does she figure in that futurity for you today? Well, I think you guys can probably tell me a little bit more about it. Yeah, from the for the stable, it's uh, everything's going to be geared towards the All Star Mile, and she's a horse that improves with a run under her belt. So, probably don't know her as well as you guys, but with what in mind, what I'm reading from the stable, I think she'll run really well today. But I think uh, it'll be all systems going towards what's going to be a, an outstanding All Star. Oh, I love the top ten from the voting, and we're going to get some quality wild cards thrown in there as well. So she'll make her presence felt today, no doubt. But I'm thinking it's probably advantage either Colding or Super Seth today, um, given uh, she's probably got some improvement to come. But thinking either Colding or Super Seth, but of the group ones, it's the one where I don't think there's much between those top three. And I found it hard to have a really strong opinion. I'm, I'm probably leaning the way uh, Colding or Super OK, not one of your bets today. Uh, let's move you forward to the Blue Diamond, see if you've got one there. Obviously, uh, a super uh, race, Hanseatic 250, 135 now with Tim Clark aboard. Let's be glam. We wish uh, Brendan and Joe Lindsay all the best with their filly today. She's got to be some sort of chance. Pace influence in the race from three with Brett Preble doing the riding as well. Uh, rulership at 6.50 and 2.30. How do you assess it uh, there, Ben? Yeah, I think it's just a case of um, does the favourite get the luck from Barry One if I could have Pick the worst barrier possible for the Antietic is barrier one or anything but there. But um, on what he's shown today, I think he's got a, a bit of a class edge on the opposition. I think the main danger is the horse that to be last time in rulership, but he's a really exciting cold Antietic. And I think 270, the price you mentioned here, is a fair gamble that, um, you know, I think he probably $2 suggests he wins the race for one in two. I think he probably gets luck more than that. Therefore, um, I think at 270, he's a fair gamble. So, you know, he might not get the luck, but if he does, I think he'll beat them. So at 270, I'm happy to back him. OK, just give us your thoughts on Lesbia Glam. Uh, how, how, are you, how are you rating her? I'm not sure the Phillies is the right form line. So I was thinking uh, the boys prelude with um, Hanseatic, uh, even horses like Tagaloa and Rockland could improve at odds. Rulership, of course. Um, I'm thinking that's a stronger form line. I do think of the Phillies, clearly let me blame, is the, the best off of what we've seen today. She sat wide on a fast speed and was really tough. Got a little query over the Phillies' form and the snap up to 1,200 metres for her, but it is very easy to make a case for her. I know some good judges are really keen on her chances today. So I was against the Phillies' form and sticking with the boys. I've, you know, for, for the... Um, for the sake of the question, I do have her in for third today, but um, I'm uh, pretty keen on Hansi Attic that if he gets the break, and it's a big if because he's drawn Barry One, that if he gets the break, he's not there. OK, half a million up for grabs in the Group 1. Eight, Oakley Plate as well, Race 8. Uh, and looks to me on paper to be a, a fairly even field. We've got uh, a 280 dominant favourite in Bivouac. Is, is he better than the others fresh up today, do you think, Ben? Or, or, or is this more open? Yeah, I think he is. Um, I think this is the best bet on the program today. I'm really keen on Bivouac here. First up at the track and distance last preparation. He won at Caulfield in devastating fashion. He, of course, went on to win a run to the road, meaning the likes of Exceedance. And yes, 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 he won a golden road. Yes, yes, yes. We've seen how good that form has been subsequently. We look, his only defeat last preparation were either at the hands of Exceedance on wet tracks, which I think were... Um, an advantage for exceedance and maybe dulled a little bit of bivouac experience. And then the Manicardo, which we saw what happened to him, he probably should have won that night against the older horses and probably should have beaten Anaheed there. And it's worth noting that the, his biggest danger in the, in the market is Anaheed, who the last two times they've crashed were dollar thirty-five versus nine dollars and a dollar eighty versus twelve dollars. So I think he's probably a better horse than Anaheed. I love his recent jump out. Um, and yes, he has to carry 55 and a half, which is a bit of weight for a three-year-old against the older horses, but I think he's got a, a bit of a class edge on the opposition. So if he's working running, I think he's going to be really hard to beat in black. OK, you solved me. Uh, other bets on the program include Hansi Attic, but a few earlier on. Uh, Express Pass, Spanish Reef, and then you've uh, also got Aristia in that race in Southbank. Do you just want to uh, just touch on those at all, Ben? Yeah, I guess um, Express Pass, Pandemic was a really smart horse, but I just think it's too much of a discrepancy between the pair, so it's better than each way odds. I'm going to have a small bet on Express Pass. I think the best punting race outside of the features is the fourth, and 
I do think they had the market wrong, particularly early with Spanish Reef and Aristia. I think they deserve to be the two favourites. And you can sort of have a, a two-bet strategy there. Um, Spanish Reef was terrific first up, even better suited 1,400, where she can put herself on speed. And Aristia's jumped out very nicely. She's the class mare in the race. And if she's going towards an all-star mile, she's going to have to be pretty forward as her jump out suggests she is. So I think one of the two wins there, and there's some mares in that race, probably too close to, to those two in the market. Um, and South Bend gets the blinkers on. I think she can be a lot closer to the speed today and, and can run really well for Team Friedman, who have an enviable hand at Caulfield today. But best of the day for me, Bivouac, and I think the best hunting race uh, is Spanish Reef at a risk is a ball. Uh, brilliant. Ben Asghari joining us from Melbourne, taking us through the massive day, Blue Diamond Stakes Day. Uh, Oakley Plate for Charity featuring Melody Bell as well. And we thank Ben, as always, uh, for giving up his time here on a Saturday morning for us on TPL Live.